Margo. It's Drew, Mark, and Trudy. Hi, Margo. Hi, Margo. Hi. What happened to the last call? The last call? I, <laughs> I don't we, know. They didn't like it because I swore. Oh, really? Well, you, you can swear, swear all you want with us. I will try not to swear. No, we, we, we encourage it. I was talking it. about hockey, and I'm a big hockey nut, and so I, I, I can't even say what I said, but... Because it would be swearing. <laughs> Mar- Margo, Margo, you can absolutely swear on this show. I can? Yes, yeah. and, and I would be... Okay, because uh, I swear a lot. I would be angry if you didn't tell us what you said that offended this last <laughs> show. Agree. I don't remember. I said, you've got a fucking great hockey team, <laughs> but I'm a Habs fan, and you're, you guys are fuck, fucking up, I think I said. Hey, oh, it's probably... J- swear to uh, Detroit people. I bet it's WJR. Oh, boy. Oh, I hope so. I bet it's guy, it would be, do you remember? It, it, it had a right-wing feeling. You I know what I mean? I just had this kind of... Hmm. Oh boy, we're right wing, and fuck you if you're not. <laughs> and, excuse me, and I'm not. I'm yourself. kind of very left wing, so it, it it was very weird conversation. That is weird. No, <laughs> you know when I when I saw we we're going to get to talk to you, I was so excited as I start reading up on Margot Kidder, and I saw that because I, I had completely forgotten, or maybe I never knew that that you dated Richard Pryor. Oh, honey, I dated everyone. <laughs> you did? Uh, yeah, there's no one I didn't fuck. I, I, sorry. No, that's fine. That. That's okay. Uh, no. <laughs> Let it all hang out. I dated Richard at the same time as I was dating the Prime Minister of Canada, at the same oh. time as I was dating Willie Brown, who was the Speaker of the House of California. Who was the Prime Minister of Canada then? Uh, Trudeau. Yeah. Trudeau. Oh, tr- tr- uh, tr- yeah. Trudeau Justin nailed him? Dad. So when I look at this shit on TV, I go, oh, little Justin. So I go, you can't call him the prime minister, little Justin. <laughs> you have to be respectful. Okay, out of those. But to me, he was little Justin. Out of those three, who was your favorite? Oh, Pierre. Pierre really? was one of the great loves of my life. Yep. Mm. Really? Uh, yeah, that went on for years and years. Oh, what? cool. Now, wait, his wife, didn't she have a little fling with the, one of the Rolling Stones? Well, that's what they say. She says, no, I like her. She's a good girl. She's, um, like me, manic depressive. She's smart. She's, uh, I don't think she slept with Mick. But Mick would sleep with anything. He was mm-hmm. an yeah. ass. Well, you said you had uh, sex with everyone. Did you have sex with Mick? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. Oh, not your kind? Not your type? What? Am I tight? Excuse no. me? No, 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 no. Not your type. <laughs> Type. type. No. But well, you can answer the other type. question, too. Dumb as a stick. <laughs> hey, well, maybe we could just zone in briefly on Richard Pryor. Uh, was he uh, Richard, the coolest, nicest, kindest guy in the whole world? Where, was was he? Was this was this post setting himself on fire? About six months after, and he had scars and scabs oh. all over him, and he quit drugs and drinking. So we let ourselves have one beer every Friday night, and uh, his he was. Just the nicest person in the world. I don't know what else to say. Well, and he was portrayed as this kind of mad, crazy nut, but he wasn't. He was really smart and really bright. Well, he's being portrayed uh, in a in a different way now because uh, Quincy Jones gave this crazy interview and he said that Marlon Brando and Richard Pryor were uh, an item. I saw that. Well, Quincy might be right. I mean, Richard was up for anything, <laughs> but Richard was. So deeply a good person. I mean, if you think of people you know and you think of goodness, he was the most goodness guy on the planet. Hmm. The most goodness guy. That's uh, I've never heard anybody call that. Sounds kind of dumb, but there you go. <laughs> it's good to hear somebody say nice things about. Him. I love oh, Richard Pryor. He was. Pryor. He was wonderful. I remember I was broke for I don't know why. I made so much money and then I lost it. And this uh, well, I, I think FedEx I can tell you why he arrived, <laughs> and in the FedEx package, Whatever. stapled with Whoa. ten grand of bills. Whoa! Nice. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. For Richard, he was really a great guy. And uh, I guess 
apparently had a lot of extra money on the side too. I mean, I knew he. I knew absolutely. Oh, he used to keep it in his bedside table drawer, and then these hookers would come over and he'd go, "Okay, Margie, pay him." <laughs> ten grand, give them ten grand, and off they go. <laughs> huh. um, when you're at Comic Con, obviously you're with a lot of other people who've been in movies like Superman. Who is it fun to be with when you go to Comic Con and you see some of the other stars that are there? Who are your favorites? God, there's quite a few actually. Let me think. Val Kilmer. Yeah, he's not cool. He's not cool. Okay. He's going to be there. Do you know yeah, this? Uh, you know what? I shouldn't say this. But well, no. no, he's not. He's an asshole. Oh, well, what happened? Was there an incident, or just generally speaking, you don't think he's very nice? Oh, he's just a jerk. Really? He did seem like he had a lot well, of swag. a lot of men are. Sorry, yeah, no, but oh, sure. they are. Uh, now, now, Chris Reeve, of course, uh, you know, I, when I started, again, doing prep a little bit, I was couldn't stop thinking about you and Christopher Reeve and what happened to him, and I, I didn't know where, where, that, uh, where you sort of fit in with all that. If you remain friends with him... To the bitter end? I did remain friends with him. I remained his, how do I put this, his older sister who nagged him. Does mm. that make sense? Yeah, sure. I was like, oh, Chris, wake the fuck up, you asshole. There was a lot of that. And uh, he didn't like it. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Because <laughs> you pushed him? You are trying to push him to work out? Or? Oh, he was kind of a jerk. And so we'd be hanging, you know, if you're hanging from the ceiling for 40 hours a day with somebody, you really get to know them. Uh, And uh, we'd be hanging up there, and at one point, the thing dropped, and he reached out to push us up. And I, what the fuck are you doing, you (laughs) idiot? Well, I thought I could hold this up. And you're going, oh, Chris. (laughs) So there was kind of a lot of that. But I did love him very much. And he had great kids. And we were kind of like brother and sister, Mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah. You know. Did he think he was real Superman? We bickered at each other all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, well, we were like brother and sister. I had no romantic feelings for him at all. People go, you didn't like kissing him? And I went, are you kidding? I had to pretend he was Harrison Ford. (laughs) Who was your favorite person to kiss in a movie? Harrison Ford? Hmm. Well, if I could have kissed Harrison Ford, ho, ho. (laughs) That would have been nice. (laughs) Uh Would you still want to? He's still hot, right? Darling, I'm almost 70. Yeah. Well, and uh, kiss people. And we don't do the kissing thing anymore. Oh, you just cut. You just cut to the chase. <laughs> I haven't had sex in ten years. Are you nuts? Jane, I'm sorry. Jane, oh God, Jane, I'm being so bad. Jane Fonda oh. came out today to say she's closed up shop down there. Who cares? You have no hormones. Here's here's a hormone story. I was doing the <laughs> vagina monologues. In uh, all of the country. My mom but went. Victoria. So I had to leave Montana, go to through Seattle to Victoria. And the night before I left, Lauren Hutton, who was an old friend of mine, comes on TV going, you want to look really good? You have to take, what's it called, HTP or something? HGH. 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 Uh, because otherwise you'll look old. And I'm thinking, she looks so good, and I kind of look fucked. So (laughs) I went, oh, okay. So I fly to, I get all the way to Victoria, turn on the TV, and there she is again. (laughs) Same end. I went, what a piss off. And then so I went, you know what, I take this um, organic orthomolecular stuff, which is about one-tenth the strength. So I think I'll stop. Hmm. So I stopped. I did the play. I didn't feel anything. And then the next day I had to come home. I had to change flights in Seattle. I'm sitting in Seattle, and I go, every man that walked by, I swear to God, I went, oh, God. Oh, he's gorgeous. I mean, one after the other. And I finally went, you don't love them. This is your hormones, you idiot. Yeah. <laughs> so I never took my hormones again. Well, there's there's no ending to that story. It sounded like there was going to be yeah. a cool ending. That's the ending, honey. The ending is, <laughs> okay, I'm now in big trouble again. 
because I used to fall in love shit every month. So, mm. uh, I, 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 these guys, and I went, no, don't go there. 